Uh, I really have, and uh, really uh, this whole thing, uh, that, old, that old cliche of, uh, you know, something uh, something good came out of something bad uh, really is what happened here. Um, quick, uh, I don't want to get into it too much because it's just boring and redundant, but a uh, quick backtrack. Uh, last year, uh, I went into inpatient treatment uh, through the WWE Wellness uh, Program, uh, horrible alcoholic, full blown, really, I mean, on the verge of death. Not even drum over drum, so just really bad. Mm. Um, went down there in July, did the 30 day program, came right back home. They paid for aftercare, uh, therapy, psychology, all this other stuff. Uh, and about uh, things were going good, you know. Uh, uh, December 1st, I had a little hiccup. Uh, a couple of days went by, I didn't do anything, and then I'd have a couple of pops or something. Uh, and then, you know, one other day I had a show, uh, just an appearance really. And, um, you know, I was just uh, a little too much and just, you know, uh, when, you know, it's not alcohol turns on you. Uh, I'm not one of those guys that obviously can control anything and, uh, just, uh, made a fool of myself. Uh, woke up the next day to, you know, how things are today, everything viral, uh, you know, the news went viral a couple of days later, uh, Dallas page calls me asking if I'm all right, what's going on. And, um, I said, you know, I told him what happened. I explained to him, and uh, and he said, well, the craziest thing happened. Um, you know, this guy, uh, this guy Douglas Cartelli, and, uh, you know, he's a million, multimillionaire, owns a concrete a structure a conglomerate, makes buildings all over the world, uh, wants to start investing in production and, you know, producing movies. And uh, so he got together with a group of people uh, that, actually make films, uh, director, producer, that have made, made, you know, actually films that are being made and put out today with a lot of guys that, you know, like Chaz Palminteri, uh, Burt Young from Rocky, um, you know, uh, the list goes on and on. Theo Rosie from, uh, what's that, Sons of Anarchy, uh, Chuck Zito, actually, in the, in the different project, I'm doing a prison scene with him. He's worked with Kevin Nash. Uh, Steve Austin, Dallas Page. So it's, it's a kind of on the B movie side of the the production company thing, but uh, they were interested in doing a documentary uh, on my life uh, with Dallas's involvement. Uh, something a little similar, but very different from the Jake uh, documentary because it's really two different situations completely. And um, you know, um, so we just I said sure. Uh, they offered to, you know, give me an opportunity to, to put some money in my pocket uh, on a weekly basis. Um, and uh, we've just been shooting this thing, and uh, we're probably going to be wrapping very soon um, after WrestleMania. You know, we're still in production um, of uh, the trailer. That's out. It's just a little snippet, really, of uh, what we've done. And a lot of, you know, when you do these things, you realize, you know, it's it's a lot harder than it looks um, because you really you really don't have a camera on you 24 hours a day. But uh, you do catch a lot of the stuff that you don't like, or things aren't a good look for you, and uh, you got to be there on the editing room floor to, and you got to trust the people that you're working with that, you know, they're not going to double cross you and uh, make you look, uh, you know, it's a real give and take process. It's an interesting process, great learning experience, and uh, I just hope when it comes out, it's just, uh, you know, uh, it, it's a tale of me. It's not a tale of a wrestler. It's not a wrestling movie. I happen to be a wrestler. Um, it's a tale of addiction uh, that happens to, you know, they say in 10 years, uh, one in 10 people will know somebody directly in our families that have a problem with drugs or alcohol. You know, um, it, it, we waste trillions of dollars, uh, you know, in emergency room visits and, med- you know, just all kinds of bills not being paid and just all uh, just a ton of stuff on, on drugs and alcohol. And, and we have a huge crisis. People are dying. Kids are dying. It's a huge epidemic. And, um our jail systems are flooded with it. So uh, it's also an education piece, and it's really a, a piece of hope. And, you know, it's kind of keeping me sober at the time. It's like uh, keeping me accountable. Um, and, two, I think a lot of the reasons why I did drink and drug was uh, a lot of disappointments in my life and my career. I just I really wanted to, to do a lot more with my career. And, you know, when, when ECW folded, uh, I saw a lot of it go away with my run in WWE and I kind of wasn't in my right mindset at that time either um, and then after you know the big buyout and uh, you know 
I was lucky to be there for a couple of years, but really there was no order to work other than TNA, which we all know what that was. Um, and, you know, uh, my best years where I finally had become somebody that knew how to work and could do something and just never, uh, never whatever. It just, uh, I think not having a purpose in my life's goals and dreams kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the true life Mickey Rourke and the wrestler, you know, and uh, that really is a lot of what this movie shows. I'm a regular guy trying to hustle for regular work and trying to kind of come out of that guy that was somebody in the nineties you know, to somebody today with a, with a family and, uh, you know, and uh, hopefully it's honest, hopefully it's real, and hopefully it's uh, it's something that can help others, and hopefully it's entertaining. 